We're not going to let our kids be radicalized. We're not going to let our kids be sexualized. We're not going to let our law enforcement be demonized. We're not going to tell our businesses they can't expand. And everything I've said about Gretchen Whitmer's record is true. So all I have to say to that is stop trying to make re-election happen, Gretchen. So good Mean Girls reference there. That's Michigan's Trump-backed Republican gubernatorial candidate, Tudor Dixon, who continues to battle against the tyrannical Democrat governor of the Great Lakes State, Great Lakes State Gretchen Whitmer, with nearly one month away from the midterm elections. Of course, all eyes will be on Michigan as Tudor Dixon attempts to unseat the pro-lockdown fake kidnapping hoax governor. Michigan's Republican gubernatorial candidate, Tudor Dixon, joins me now. Tudor, welcome. Thank you for having me. Hey, I'm so glad to have you here tonight. You know, as I mentioned, we're about a month out from the midterms. President Trump, who endorsed you, just held that Save America rally in Warren, Michigan over the weekend. It was an amazing rally. He talked about a nation in decline. And I think when you got up there on the stage, you spoke to the pain that so many people, not only across the country, but especially in Michigan, are dealing with as a result of Gretchen Whitmer's policies. And so I want to ask you, because early voting began about a week ago. There's some new polling out uh, from WDIV, Detroit News has Whitmer up by 17 points. And of course, the legacy media is running wild with that headline. So I want to know what message you want to get out to voters right now in this critical time that's remaining. And are you maybe seeing some different numbers, maybe internal polling that tells a very different story? Well, Trafalgar came out with a poll last week, just at the end of last week, that has us less than six points apart. And we trust what they do over at the Trafalgar polling group. We understand that they know how to find those quiet Republicans. And we know those quiet Republicans are out there. Just today, we had a rally at one of our restaurants that had been shut down. We lost over 3,000 restaurants in the state of Michigan. We heard so many sad stories from people who had lost loved ones, who felt like they were completely abandoned by the state. And the interesting thing is, as we walked away, one of the women grabbed my arm and she said, just so you know, this restaurant stayed open. They defied her orders, but every single restaurant on the street that didn't is now closed permanently. That's what we're dealing with in the state of Michigan. Like you said, there's so much heartache. The kids are behind in school. Our kids have not caught that up, back up. There is no plan from Gretchen Whitmer to catch them back up. Here we are in October and we don't have tutors in the classrooms. We had our kids last spring Nearly 60% of our third graders failed their reading and writing exams. They're not reading and writing at grade level. We have just a short period of time from kindergarten to third grade to teach kids to read, and then they're reading to learn from then on. Parents are panicked that our kids are behind and there's no plan to get them back on track. Crime is rising. We've had a 30% increase in homicide rate in the state of Michigan. And you know what? We have rising gas prices, rising higher than most every other state other than California. And we have a governor who is planning to shut down our pipeline. If we have another Awful. four years of Gretchen Whitmer, it will be devastating. Well, Tudor, something that really struck me that I think resonates with a lot of parents who talk about schools and the issues that are uh, being dealt with in our schools right now. And there's a story making headlines this week out of Vermont, uh, a girls volleyball team banned from using their own locker rooms after they complained about a transgender athlete, a biological male, using the girls locker room. And it's just, you know, one of many stories that we've seen, of course, involving girls sports and even issues in school bathrooms and what kids are being taught in the classrooms. Uh, you saw the impact uh, of these situations in Virginia when Glenn Youngkin was elected governor. You're a parent. Talk to us about your approach, if elected, with these situations. Yes, I'm a parent of four girls, too. So it's very important to me that I make sure that girls' sports are protected and that girls are protected in school in general, but all students are protected. And that's why we've come out with a similar bill to what uh, Governor DeSantis came out with, saying, under eight or nine years old, we're not going to have any sex or gender talk. But this governor in Michigan will not say that. That's We are going to hold her accountable to taking care of our students. And parents want this. We have a strong Muslim community in the state of Michigan. And they had a rally on their own. 800 strong parents came out and said, we're done with the sex and gender talk in our schools. We're seeing this. this these are traditional Democrat voters. We're seeing this from Democrats. We're seeing this from independents. And we're seeing this from Republicans. And we are here to say, look, we agree. 
it should be the basics, reading, writing, and math. Get the sex and gender talk out of our schools. We want to protect our kids. It's got to be first and foremost. But we know Gretchen Whitmer won't because now it's coming out that we have a broken foster care system. The report just came out saying the foster care system is in very bad condition. And her response to that was, we need to, we need to hire sexual orientation and gender identity therapists to talk to the kids mm. in foster care. That's her solution. Tudor, I only have about 30 seconds, but I want to ask you something that I think is really important to a lot of voters right now. You know, I was watching that rally on Saturday. I hosted it for Newsmax. And I look out in the crowd at these great Americans that love their country, that love former President Trump, that adore you and want to see you elected the next governor. And I know they've got a target on their backs right now. You've got some 87,000 IRS agents. They're going to have them under a microscope. Uh, you see homes being raided uh, for no reason by the FBI. Um, and you see what's happening with somebody like uh, Kaylor Ellison, uh, who was killed for his support of, of President Trump. Uh, and there's so much of that right now coming from the Biden administration, that violent rhetoric, that dangerous rhetoric. What's your message to those people uh, that are facing this just because of their, their political support? Stay strong. I have had so many people come and whisper in my ear, I'm voting for you, I'm voting for you. I've been telling that story around the state, and now I have people coming up to me after we have rallies and we have events saying, I'm not going to whisper anymore. I'm voting for you. So as long as we all stick together and we are strong together, I believe we will be a mighty force in November. I love to hear it. Michigan Republican gubernatorial candidate Tudor Dixon, we wish you the best, and thanks for joining us tonight. Thank you so much for having me.